Okay, I got some dry ice here and you have a lab to do. It says to put it in a styrofoam cup if I remember the lab right, the handout, but you can't see it in there from the video. So I'm gonna put it in a beaker. And you can make the best observations you can if you weren't here for that from the video. So write down what you observe in the video for the dry ice. Do a couple small things here. Poke it with a pen. It might be hard to see, but I kind of put a hole in the dry ice there. All right, so a couple things you're gonna have to do. Um, one, it says to put some in a test tube. So I'm going to, I got a test tube here. I'm gonna put some in a test tube. You can't handle dry ice with your bare hands because it's minus 80 degrees, so it will freeze the cells in your hand almost instantly. So I'm gonna put some dry ice in this test tube right here. And put this back in here. And put a balloon over it, like the directions say. And that's gonna take a while to get your observations for that. So look at the balloon now, and I'm gonna just put that in here, okay? And then we'll be able to uh, take a look at that in a few minutes again to see what happens. So I'm gonna leave that off to the side for now, okay? About right there. All right, then I'm gonna do the part where you take some dry ice and put it out on the counter. Let's take some dry ice here, put it on the counter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it down real hard. Oh, you can see what just happened to the balloon here. In the meantime, we'll let it sit there for a while. Now, one of the things that's cool is you can actually see ice forming around the outside of this. Now that's not dry ice that's forming. Think about what's in the air. What would turn to ice from the air when it touches something real cold, okay? So uh, I'm gonna put that back, go back to this part. Let it sit there, ah, oh, there we go. Watch what starts to happen. In the video, I don't know how well you can see the um, looks like smoke, but it's not actually smoke. Okay. Carbon dioxide is sublimating. It's going straight from the solid to the gas stage. Well, you can't really see a gas, but my guess is it's actually freezing some water vapor in, in the room, and that's the part you see. Okay. So you'll see what happens is, is it starts to, f looks like it's like floating on here. It gets really easy to move around. So what's going on there? Well, the dry ice is carbon dioxide, frozen carbon dioxide, right? And it's basically sublimating, turning to a gas, so it starts to float on a thin layer of gas. Just let it sit there and see if it moves. All right. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is, it says do it in a styrofoam cup, but you just can't see it in the styrofoam cup very well, so I'm gonna do that in here. It says put some water in there. So let's get some water. Now, what are those bubbles? Those bubbles are carbon dioxide, right? Because it's sublimating, going straight to um, the gas. So it's carbon dioxide bubbles. And just for fun, a little soap. That's gonna be a fun mess. <laughs> So again, what's coming out of here? That's carbon dioxide gas bubbles, right? And then let's take a look at the balloon that we had. Okay, it's inflated and what kind of gas would that be? Carbon dioxide, right? All right, 
I uh, hope that's enough to at least get an idea of what we did for the lab.